Hey, what's up? It's Rob. I had a great review, not a review, but a tasting. I recorded for you guys and I watched it back and guess what? It's all out of focus. It's, it's, it was all blurry. Couldn't use it. Sound was okay. Content was okay. Video part, mm -mm. not working. So here's a redo and it may not be as good as the first one. But I want to talk to you about not a, not a review, but just kind of a tasting of this this Costco beer. This is their house brand, Kirkland, and they call it Citra Hop Session IPA. They say it's a, you know, I hate air quotes, but it's a craft brewed ale. <sighs> anyway, let me read this to you off the back of the can. Aromatic, bright, and hoppy. It says it's an IPA that greets you with a golden hue and a refreshing citrus-like aroma. What the fuck is that? I mean, a citrus-like aroma. I mean, is it is it a citrus aroma or is it a citrus-like aroma? I, I, that always kind of concerns me when they say it's a citrus-like aroma. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, that's that's what it says. It says it's created from dry hopping with citra cascade and lemon drop hops good hop mixture it features a bright hoppy flavor supported by a discreet malt base this is a brew that doesn't sacrifice flavor for drinkability original gravity is 11 percent ibu 41 abv 4.9 i guess a session beer is anything below five but this is kind of a, a couple ticks high you know, to what I kind of consider a session beer. That's okay, though. It's You can drink it all day. I mean, I've probably had 11 of these um, while I am smoking these pork butts behind me. Oh, I wish you could smell it. It's phenomenal. These these things are going to go about 10 hours, and they're, they're smoked on hickory wood and also some oak from Jack Daniels barrels, so they have that nice, sweet, kind of bourbony, uh, you know, anyway, it's going to be awesome. Uh, you can't smell it, but trust me, let's talk about this though. Let me get a nose. Citra cascade. I mean, you do get that citra citrus like aroma or citrus aroma. I don't know what the difference is. Citrus like seems fake, but whatever. Let me taste it and see what I think. What did it say about a discreet, um, a discreet malt base? Hmm. I kind of find it to be not that discreet. I mean, it's a little bit more malty or malt forward, at least based on the description here. I do pick up that sharpness from the uh, the citra hops. It ain't terrible. It's a little bit watery. Uh, if you're at Costco, do you pull the trigger on this? Kind of depends on what you want to do. I mean, if you just want to buy some really cheap beer, I think it's 20 bucks for a case, and just drink it all day, it's not going to hurt you not going to set you back, um, but you're not going to say this is the best beer I've ever had ever. I want to write a letter home to my mother about this and tell her how good it are. Would I buy it again? It's kind of always the, the you know, the linchpin or the, the breaking point for me is you buy anything one time just for fun, just for a taste. Would I buy this stuff again? I don't know. Kind of depends. It all depends on what I was wanting to do on that particular day. It's not great. If you want to have a great beer, take a pass on this. But if you want a big quantity of beer for not very much money, uh, this is not the worst beer that you'll ever get ever. Because uh, the Kirkland brand, the Costco Signature Light was the worst ever. It was so horrible that Costco discontinued it. It was the worst beer ever. I am bound 
by my religious beliefs not to um, waste beer. And I had a hell of a time choking that shit down. Oh, it was terrible. I mean, I got it. I did it. I drank it all, but not good. So, Kirkland Signature Light. Somebody said, thanks for falling on the grenade for us, man. I don't know. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to drink all these. It's not the worst. Don't rush to Costco and buy this. If, if you're thinking, damn, I should get a Costco membership so I can buy that beer Rob was talking about. Mm-mm, don't, don't, don't do that. Like buy the chickens instead. You know, the, the, um, the rotisserie chickens, buy those instead. Um, so long and short of it is if I go with the uh, kind of untapped scale one to five, which I think is kind of a, you know, a bullshit scale. But if I go with that, I go 2.25, kind of right in the middle, not the most horrible beer I've ever had, but, uh, very, very, very meh, below average C minus, you know? That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Late.